You will know for today's video that I am actually rescuing a monkey. We're rescuing a little finger monkey. I am concerned about what I believe is a serious skin infection on this monkey. But for the short term, while we quarantine him, while we make sure he is healthy, we have got to put him inside of this small enclosure so we can closely monitor him. We've got our first branch in place. So these are super easy. They already come pre-assembled. Let's check the phone and guys, they're at the gate. The monkey's here. Here is our new little marmoset. The tail is really red, it has an infection, and on one side it's actually missing all of the hair. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Jacob and welcome to my world. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that I am actually rescuing a monkey. We're rescuing a little finger monkey that someone has had just living in their home with them. And from my understanding, they really don't know what they're doing. They've just been giving it a terrible diet of rice and beans and pretty much whatever they want to give it when in in fact, these marmosets have a very, very specific diet. Not only am I concerned about what this monkey is eating, I am concerned about what I believe is a serious skin infection on this monkey. I saw a picture of it and it looks like the fur on his tail is literally falling off. So this is not good at all. The monkey is on his way right now. We're going to rescue it. We're going to rehab it. We're going to hopefully bring it back to health. But I'm not sure, guys. We're going to have to wait till it's here to assess the situation. We've actually got to go in just a bit. We've got to get an enclosure. We've got to set it up for it because we have got to quarantine this monkey. This is a picture of him. He's on his way here. But before he gets here, well, guys, we got to go check on the new baby lemur. And then we've got to go to the store and get an enclosure for this monkey. We're here. We're entering. And we are looking at little baby Rue. Rue is just hanging out. She just kind of woke up from a little nap. She's doing incredibly well. Now, if you guys see it. It's a little bit dirty in here. I just cleaned it this morning and she has gotten a mess of her food right here. She's gotten a mess of her monka mush. How you doing, little girl? How you doing? Here, you wanna sniff my fingers? You wanna smell me? So with any baby primates, you actually gotta approach them pretty slowly because they can get pretty scared. They can get quite overwhelmed. How you doing, Rue? Oh, why are you scared of my finger? Why are you scared of the finger? Hi, oh, you got your little monkey hands. You're such a good girl. Here, you wanna climb on the, you wanna climb on the blankie? Come here, come say hi to everyone. They wanna see you. Hey, what are you doing, little girl? She's just hanging out here on my shoulders right now, having a good time, and she's getting the warmth from my neck. My neck's really warm right now. I've been outside, so she's just here hanging out with me. And to actually have my very own Pokemon, guys, it's absolutely amazing to get to walk around, to have this little girl here. And to, in order to build a bond with them, you really have to take these animals everywhere with you. You, know, you don't want to overwhelm her. But whenever I'm walking around the property, whenever I'm going anywhere, I just throw her up on my shoulder. She just hangs out because that's exactly what they would do with the mother. So I want to have a very, very strong bond with her. So that's what you got to do. She's got to get used to my scents, my smells. Aren't you a good girl? Aren't you good? The little lemur is away, and now that she's away and you got an update on her, well, we've got to head to the store. We've got to get the supplies for our rescued monkey, and that rescued monkey should be here in about an hour. One hour later. Hey, what's up? We just got back from the store and we have got our quarantine enclosure for this marmoset. So this is the enclosure right here. Now the enclosure is not huge, but marmosets are not that big. Marmosets full grown are about yay big. They're a pretty small species. And this is just a temporary quarantine enclosure. The main enclosure is actually this over here. This actually came from someone that had a bunch of marmosets, a bunch of tamarins. And this is a giant kit enclosure. This has seven different enclosures in one, but it's completely disassembled. It's completely torn apart. But you can see we have the whole enclosure here in panels. Guys, look at this picture right here. This is the enclosure when it's fully set up. And one of those is going to be this marmoset's home. It's literally a marmoset mansion. It's absolutely massive. But for now, we gotta quarantine him. We don't wanna put him outside. We've gotta deworm him. Because if we put him here on the grass, and he poops on the grass. If he has any parasites, well, those parasites are now in my soil and other animals can get it. So this is where he's going to be long-term, but for the short term, while we quarantine him, while we make sure he is healthy, we have got to put him inside of this small enclosure so we can closely monitor him. So we've got our enclosure here. We just picked it up. I absolutely love it. We've got all kinds of goodies for it. Let's pull it on forward just like this. Look at this enclosure. 
Now we're gonna have to make some modifications to make this completely monkey proof because he could slide it open, kick the dish out, and he could run away. So we definitely don't want that to happen. That would not be good, but we have our little enclosure here. Not only do we have this enclosure here, but we have a stand for it as well. This is the stand on where it's gonna go, and guys, let's grab it. Now we're going to actually have this enclosure right over here, we're gonna slide, 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 just like this. But we have a little bit of things we gotta do to this enclosure to get it ready for the marmoset. Now there's only two branches in here, but I got more. So he can actually have more space to run around. Now guys, I'm really hoping that this fungus infection that he has, this skin infection is not too bad. It could be many different things. It could be ringworm, it could be just a bacterial infection, guys. I am not entirely sure. If you guys wanna find out, I honestly have no idea either. If you guys wanna find out, well, you're gonna have to wait till the monkey gets here. But we have got to set up the enclosure. So we've got all kinds of good stuff right here. We've got this little nest box. We're actually gonna be mounting this little box way, way up here in the corner. So he can actually go inside of there. He can sleep. He's got a little shelter in there. We've got our nest box in here. And we've got some other little goodies as well. Not only do we have the nest box, I got little ladders so he can climb and run around on. And we also got this little ferret sleeper hammock thingamajigger bobber. We're gonna put that in that corner. We got another small little perching branch since this is a tiny small little primate. And we got our water bottle. We're gonna probably mount this water bottle right here. We got a nice Lixit bottle. That's probably where I'm gonna mount it, right on there. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. The first thing is first, we have got to set up these branches. And we've got our first branch in place. So these are super easy. They already come pre-assembled. You literally just put that fender washer there. You take the little nut and then you just start spinning, spinning, spinning. And look at that. We got that nice and secure. We're just gonna tighten it down just a little bit, just like that we've got this side nice and secure and now we've got to do the other side because we want to give him a natural environment as natural as we can make it we want to give him all different branches all different perches so he can feel safe and at home so we've got this fender washer here and we're just going to screw it on and okay we're there we're secured we have made a lot of progress on this enclosure. So this right here is pretty much literally just a bird's nesting box. But since this marmoset is gonna be small, this is going to be his little night house, his little night box. So now that we got that in there, we are going to hang some of these little guys. We've got little ladders for him to just run around up on to go absolutely insane. And we're gonna hang that. I'm thinking that's going to go right there. That's absolutely perfect. He might knock it down, he might not. We'll just have to see. If he does, then we'll secure it. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. All right, cool, 10 minutes? All right, see you then. The marmoset is almost here. It's gonna be here in 10 minutes, so we've gotta hurry up. We have gotta get this enclosure going. So one of the last things we're gonna add in here is this little sleeping hammock, and inside it's nice and plush. Marmoset can go in here, it can sleep, and we're gonna hang it up here on this side right over here. So we're gonna hang it up here on this corner. I'm thinking one here, another one right here. And we're just gonna have like this just nice little hammock for it. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I think he's gonna love it, guys. And look at that right there. This is absolutely perfect. We have a nice little swinging hammock, a little place for the marmoset to hang out on. We're gonna add another ladder right in here. We're gonna have a lot of little ladders in here. Now this primate is gonna spend most of its time up high, so it's really not gonna spend a lot of time down below. And now one of the final things we're going to do is we're going to add some of these little perches back inside of here. They came inside, we took them out while we put the enclosure together. And we're just going to slide this like this, and I don't know why it's not, it's not working. This branch is in place, and we're going to get another one right over here on this side. We're gonna put it right there, and that is going to go right down here look at that this is absolutely amazing this is exactly what we want so the last thing we got to do is well we've got to open this bottle and set it up take a look at it the enclosure is done this is our marmoset quarantine enclosure so we've actually blocked off all the areas that we're not going to use we put metal ties so he can't lift it up he can't get out this is going to be the food dish and now that this is complete we're literally just going to slide it right here this is what's going to live the water bottle almost fell that's not good and let's slide it, slide it, slide it, and this right here is absolutely perfect. So now that this enclosure is here, let's check the phone, and guys, they're at the gate. The monkey's here. One minute, 37 seconds later. Here is 
our new little marmoset. He's in here, and as I suspected, I believe he has some sort of a skin infection. Now, he's really scared right now. He doesn't know what's going on. This was just given to me right now. He is just absolutely adorable, and yes, guys, you do have to have a permit to own this, so all the animals here at my property, I'm permitted to own all of them, including this little guy right here. Hi, how you doing? Guys, look how cute he is, absolutely adorable, and he just doesn't know what's going on. I'm sorry, buddy, we gotta quarantine you. Okay, buddy, it's okay, it's okay. So basically what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to slide this enclosure here into my little efficiency here because if we try to open this and stick them in out here, well, guys, we could have a runaway monkey. Well, we're in here and we've locked ourselves in this little room right now because this monkey very well could bounce around and go absolutely insane. We don't want any escaped animals, so that's why we're taking the necessary precautions. We have the door locked and guys, it is time to get our new resident inside of here. Now, this is gonna be a little bit interesting. I'm just gonna open this up and I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to treat the skin infection today, but I do have a medication we're gonna give him on his food, which will help start treating the skin infection. Honestly, there's only one way to do this, guys. We've gotta open it up, we've gotta get him in. I'm hoping that I can do this in the right way. Now, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here right now, just like this. I'm gonna open this enclosure, and I'm gonna keep this like this. That way, he cannot get out. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, go, go get out. Go, buddy. There he is, he's in, and, okay, hi, how you doing, buddy? Okay, he's in, and he is a little bit freaked out, guys. This is totally normal when you have a new primate and a new situation. It's okay, buddy, I'm sorry, it's all right, it's all right, man, it's okay. Our new marmoset is outside, and from what I know, his previous name was Simon, so we're gonna keep the name Simon. But guys, look at his tail. It's really hard to see because he's moving around, but the tail is really red, it has an infection. Hey buddy, how you doing Simon? Guys, look at the tail, you can see how ratty the tail looks just like that, and on one side it's actually missing all of the hair. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, I'm trying to get around to see it, I just don't wanna spook Simon. And, hi, how you doing bud? Hey buddy, how you doing? So we're not gonna try to open this up right now because we do not wanna have a monkey on the loose. We gotta have him kinda warm up to us. How you doing buddy, you like your little hammock? So now that we got our marmoset in here, you guys can kind of see his skin infection. He's really not letting us get close to it. Well guys, we gotta go inside. We've gotta get some food and get him his medication. We're back outside and we have got our food. So in, in here we've got some apples, we've got carrots, we've got bananas, blueberries, and a special marmoset gel diet. And right here we have our medication. This medication right here was prescribed to sprinkle on the food and that is gonna help his skin problem. Now, he just got here, he's really freaked out. Ideally, we'd actually be able to clean it and we'd be able to do a physical exam. And that's why having hands-on relationships with the animals is so important. So when they do have problems like skin infections, you can go in, you can take them out and you can examine them. But since he's new here, we don't wanna stress him out. We don't wanna bother him, but hopefully we'll be able to kindle a relationship with him and we'll be able to be best friends. So we're gonna take our medication right here. We're gonna sprinkle it on here, especially the diet. And we're just gonna mix it on in just like that. And we actually have our little food dish right here. So we got a little clip right here because these marmosets can be a little bit mischievous we got to make sure that he cannot get out in any way so we're going to take our food and we're just going to scoop the food inside of our little dish right here now he's a tiny little monkey so he's not going to eat a whole lot of food and we're just going to put it all in just like that and we're in we've got the food i'm hoping that he is going to eat it looks absolutely amazing let me smell it, it smells absolutely delicious so guys, comment down below if you think he's gonna eat some food. I'm hoping he is. If he does eat, that's a great sign. Hi, buddy. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Come get some food. Oh my gosh. He knows there's food in there. He knows there's food. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna actually grab a little piece of um, banana right now. I'm gonna actually get a little piece of the diet on my finger. We're just gonna slide that on in. And we're going to latch on shut just like this. And hey buddy, come here, look, I've got something. Come here, come here, look, smell it. Come here, how you doing buddy? Offering an animal food is a great way to build a relationship with it and you're peeing, aren't you bud? It does not look like Simon is going to come. It does not look like he's going to eat. Oh wait, he's looking in the dish. He's not seeing what he likes just yet because this monkey was supposedly on a human food only diet, which is really bad for these marmosets. That's why we rescued him because he was on a bad diet and he had a nasty skin infection. 
These guys have a very, very specific diet, and this guy was not being fed the right stuff, so I'm so glad we're able to rescue him. You can see his skin infection right there. It's not looking too hot. Hey, what are you doing, bud? You're investigating. So now that Simon is in his new enclosure, we're going to leave him be. We're going to let him settle in. We don't want to bother him too much, and that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video where we rescued this marmoset. We brought him here and are going to give him the best possible life. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below a prayer for his nasty skin infection. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see how Simon does. You want to see our new baby lemur grow up. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell. And you all will be notified whenever I post.